नमस्कार माई नेम इज प्रतीक खन्ना एंड माई टॉपिक इज इंसाइट फ्रॉम द वेदिक लिटरेचर ऑन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट प्रिवेंशन मैनेजमेंट एंड रेजोल्यूशन द वेदास विच आर द एंशियंट स्क्रिप्चर्स ऑफ हिंदुइजम होल्ड अ वेल्थ ऑफ विजडम एप्लीकेबल नॉट ओनली टू द स्पिरिचुअल रेल बट ऑल्सो टू द एवरी डे चैलेंजेस ऑफ ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन वन सच चैलेंज which is the ubiquitous presence of conflict finds profound guidance within the vedic framework this work explores the rich tapestry of principles enshrined in the vedas that can illuminate our path towards preventing managing and resolving conflicts effectively the central concepts around conflict prevention which are highlighted in the vedas are dharma satya and ahimsa the central principle of dharma emphasizes living a righteous life in accordance with cosmic law and social order following one's dharma promotes harmony and reduces the potential for conflict the vedas advocate for truthfulness or satya in communication and interaction this builds trust and reduces misunderstanding which is a root cause of conflict ahimsa or non violence extends beyond mere physical harm it emphasizes avoiding hard speech malicious intent and actions that could cause suffering to others some of the insights from vedic literature around dharma rigved says dharmen vidyut patitata dharmen vardhatam cha may you be established through dharma and may you grow through dharma भगवत गीता से स्वकर्म सुख दुखम च यथा विधि तथा कुरु परफॉर्म योर राइटियस ड्यूटी नोइंग इट टू बी अकम्पनीड बाय बोथ प्लेजर एंड पेन फॉलोइंग वंस धर्म पोस्टर्स सोशल ऑर्डर एंड हार्मनी मिनिमाइजिंग द सीड्स ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट व्हेन इंडिविजुअल्स एंड कम्युनिटीज एक्ट राइटियसली रिस्पेक्टिंग द राइट्स एंड ड्यूटीज ऑफ अदर्स फ्रिक्शन एंड डिस्कॉर्ड नेचुरली डिमिनिश यजुर्वेद से धर्मेन व प्रजापति जानयम थ्रू धर्म मे बी जनरेट द लॉर्ड ऑफ क्रीचर रिगार्डिंग सत्य यजुर्वेद से सत्यं च वाचस्ते सुक्रम च वाचस्ते स्पीक द ट्रूथ एंड स्पीक स्वीटली ऋग्वेद टीचेस अस विद्वान मनसा वाचसा करवन्ते द वाइज मेक देयर स्पीच correspond with their thoughts tetreya upanishad says satyam nasti paro dharma there is no dharm higher than truth mundaka upanishad says satyam eva jayate nanrita truth alone triumphs not falsehood regarding ahimsa tetreya upanishad teaches us sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchit dukh bhag bhave may all be happy may all be free from illness may all see good things may none become afflicted with sorrow mahabharat shanti par emphasizes that ahimsa is the param dharm or non violence is the highest dharm this despite mahabharata being set out in a background of conflict still it emphasizes the primacy of ahimsa having seen uh, the domain of conflict prevention now let us focus on conflict management and resolution some of the concepts around conflict management and resolution include samvad which is open and honest communication that is essential for resolving conflicts understanding the root causes of disagreements and identifying common ground paves the way for solution nyay the vedas advocate for upholding justice or nyay based on dharm this ensures fair treatment for all parties involved in a conflict shama the vedas promote forgiveness or shama as a virtue holding on to resentment and anger can escalate conflicts forgiveness allows for reconciliation and a chance to move forward karuna or compassion is another key concept 
Understanding the perspectives and feelings of others can help bridge divides and find common ground. Shanti. Ultimately, the Vedas aim for restoration of peace or Shanti within individuals and society. Conflict resolution should lead to a sense of harmony and well-being for all individuals, all involved. The Rajan or the king was seen as the protector and upholder of Dhan. He was entrusted with maintaining order and ensuring justice within his kingdom. The Vedic approach to justice delivery emphasized maintaining social order through adherence to dharma, with, with the king playing a central role. Sabha or assembly and samiti for gathering mentioned in Vedas may have served as forums for discussing community matters and potentially resolving disputes. Now let us see what the Vedic literature uh, teaches us around these concepts. Atharved says, Saha na sadhu manasi dadhatu. May he put good thoughts into our mind. Engaging in dialogue allows parties to express their perspectives, understand the root causes of conflict, and identify potential solutions. Manusmriti says, Dharmo rakshati dharmam cha. Dharm protects dharm. Upholding dharm. Through just resolution, promotes social order and prevents further conflict. Ishopanishad teaches us Vidyam Cha, Vivekam Cha, Yunish Cha, Prapadiye. I seek knowledge, discrimination, and surrender to the higher self. Letting go of anger and resentment can be seen as a form of surrender, allowing for a clearer perspective and possibility of forgiveness. Yajurved says Indram Cha, Rajanam Cha. Indra, the god the king of gods and the king of men this verse highlights the similarity between the cosmic order maintained by in and the social order maintained by the ruler mundaka upanishad highlights the importance of shanti through shanti 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 which means peace 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 this is a powerful mantra which invokes peace on all levels Yajurved says, Lokasya Karomi Samagama. I bring about the union of the worlds, which emphasizes peace as harmony and interconnectedness. Rigved says, Samno Mitra Samvaruna. May all become our friends. To conclude, the wisdom enshrined in the Vedas offers timeless principles for preventing, managing, and resolving conflict. By emphasizing dharma, satya, ahimsa, and fostering open communication, justice, forgiveness, and compassion, we can create a more peaceful and harmonious world. The enduring relevance of the Vedas lies in their ability to offer timeless wisdom applicable to the complexities of the modern world. By applying these principles, we can learn to navigate conflict more effectively, fostering a world where peace and understanding prevail. I thank you. Namaskar.